Hello and welcome back and in this video we're going to focus on the business end of MT4 in other words the charts and in this short video I'm going to explain how to configure the charts, how to move them around, how to relocate them, resize, maximize, minimize and also configure them to your own personal layout styles and settings. Now we're starting with uh, the default arrangement. This is pretty much what you will see when you open your terminal for the first time with the four charts. And a couple of things just to point out before we get going. This feature here with the trade terminal option on the chart is a relatively new one. It allows you to trade directly off the screen. If you don't want this displayed, you have a little arrow here. If you just click on that, it will be removed. You'll still see it's there, the little down arrow. If you want to show the trade panel, you literally click it on. And if you click on this to take a position in the market, our trade window, our order window appears. So we can close that down. So if you don't want this on the screen, you literally hide it in that way there with the little toggle arrow. So they've all now gone off our default charts. Now just one other thing to show you before we actually go down to the charts themselves and I'm going to reduce these down to two charts rather than work with four. If we go up to view in our navigation you'll see here we've got two options ticked. We've got the status bar ticked and we've got the charts bar ticked. Now down at the bottom of the screen if we untick those that takes that off and if we untick the status bar the status bar will also go and you can see it gives us a little bit more space on the screen and if we use our tiling feature there we go the charts are now full size on the screen available. If we go back to view we can click these back on again our charts bar gives us the option to move around our charts. You'll see here we've got a little tab appears with the charts that are available on this particular workspace. So we have four here. We've got the pound dollar, we've got the dollar CAD, the dollar Swiss and the Aussie dollar. And if you click on those that will make that particular chart the active one and appear knocked back in the tab arrangement. And if we want to view our status then we simply go up here and click our status bar and that will display the status at the bottom of the screen. So let's remove a couple of charts and take this down to two and we'll then go through some of the configurations and how to move charts around on the workspace. Now to maximize, minimize or reduce any chart you have three options here. You have a minimize button you have a maximize button and you have a close button. So if we want to remove these we we'll simply click on that. We'll take this one away as well and these are the two charts that we're going to work with just for this particular video. And all we do to resize those to our workspace click on the tile button and there we are they're retiled into the workspace. Now as always with MT4 there's more than one way to get at the properties for your chart. You can either go up here to charts, scroll down to the bottom to properties and that appears in the window there. Close that down or alternatively you can right click on the chart itself and if we right click again you'll see we have properties at the bottom which opens the same window. Within the properties there are various options. You have some standard options already available. You have yellow on black and you'll see it changes in the window. You've got green on black which is often the default or you've got black on white. So let's go back to our green on black option. Uh, these are very personal preferences. Uh, I like a black background personally. The foreground, this will be your axis, your data axis, so that needs to be white if you're working with a black background. Um, this is if you have the grid on or off, so let's do that now. Again, personally, I like to take the grid off. If you click on the common tab here, 
scroll down here you'll see that show grid is ticked so if we untick that and click OK our grid is now removed from our active chart let's right click again we go to properties go back to our colors let's change this to uh, something fairly con conventional bar up let's go for dodger blue and you can see every time you make a change it appears in the little window alongside bar down we'll go for red the bull candle this will then give you a solid candle we'll do dodger blue again and the bear candle we'll do in uh, red again we'll change this to a blue that's just for line and there we are we'll leave the rest of them as they are and if we click OK on that there we are we now have our candles in uh, blue for up and red for down and we're on candles and as, as I'm sure you remember from an earlier video you can change this to line or a bar chart up here but let's stay with the candles for the time being if we want to zoom in on that a little bit we can do it that way and we can also zoom in another way by scrolling along here left click place your mouse in the axis the x-axis here down at the bottom and you can enlarge that way as well but let's use the uh, the buttons up here it's much easier much more straightforward so there we are we now have a nice looking chart with our preferred layout arrangement of candles now if we want to resize a chart manually if you take your mouse pointer and hover over any area on the edge of the chart like this you'll see that you get a double headed arrow and if you want to enlarge your chart you hold down the left key on your mouse and drag and release so that's moving it to the left if you want to resize it in another way hold it over the corner again hold the left mouse key down drag to your resize option and release and we've now resized this to a different size if you want to move the chart physically in its current uh, format to a different position within your workspace all you do is you move your mouse pointer to this blue area on the chart left click hold and drag and that will resize your chart uh, sorry beg your pardon that will move the chart to your preferred location and of course to retile all you do is click the retile button and that's back to normal size if you want to minimize a chart off the screen you literally click the minimize button and it appears down here and to bring it back again that will bring it up to maximum size and then to resize it to your tile arrangement again just tile the windows and you're back to your starting point so that's how to manage and also uh, configure your charts to your preferred settings and then of course you want to add an indicator to the chart so let's just do this on one chart now I'm going to get rid of this chart over on the right so we're just going to close that chart down we'll maximize this chart there we go and the next thing we want to do is add an indicator and I'll show you how to resize and also configure the indicators uh, in terms of the arrangement on the chart itself and particularly with regard to the CSI we go into view we go into navigator left click on indicators left click on quantum and let's drag our CSI indicator onto our chart now I'm going to do a separate video on the inputs I just want to show you something with regard to the charting here so if we click on that and we'll close off the navigator now we've got the CSI on the chart 
you can see here that it looks a little bit odd at the moment. It's a little bit squashed and we really want to resize this to make it uh, to take up less space and also make it easier to read for our trading. Now whenever you apply an indicator to a chart you will get a region like this which differentiates the boundary between the indicator and the chart itself. And as you'll see when you hover your mouse over that particular boundary it comes up with these two little parallel lines and the little arrow up and down. And again this is exactly the same principle as we were showing earlier with the charts. If you left click on your mouse, hold it down and just drag that up to the top of the screen and there we are. And now we've got a full size CSI and if we want to move that over a little we can click on here and again if you hover over the edge of the chart we can just move it over like that and resize it accordingly. I'm holding the left mouse key on the uh, mouse down and I'm just sliding this back and forth to resize. And if you move up here to the top this boundary you can see here you can resize that if you wish. And that's pretty much how many traders will use this to one side and then they will open another chart. Let's just do that. Let's get a new chart. So we'll go file new chart. Let's go for the pound dollar. We're going to drag this over here. We're holding the left key on our mouse down. We're going to drop it in there and then we're going to drag it over manually to resize it like that. We're still holding our left key down. There we are. That's now resized. We're going to right click, go to our properties. Let's change the background on this one to black. We need to change our foreground to white otherwise we're not going to see any data. There we go. We'll take our grid off. We don't want to show the grid. We'll go into our colors. Bar up on uh, let's go Dodger Blue again. Bar down on red. Bull Candle Dodger Blue. Bear Candle Red. There we go. The line graph will leave on uh, on black this time and there we go and we'll just expand that up a little bit with our zoom and there we are and we'll change the time frame just to complete let's change this to a five minute chart there we are and let's just put one more indicator on the chart so let's put uh, volume on for example this time we'll go up to view go to our navigator Let's drag our tick volume on, release, there we go, close down our navigator and again as you can see as I explained on the CSI installation here we are again we've got this boundary between the indicator and the chart and you literally hover your pointer over that region the little parallel lines come up with a little arrow top and bottom hold down your left click on your mouse drag to your preferred size and release and there we are. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's covered some of the basics of charting and how to configure your charts to your own personal styles and also some of the tips and tricks to move things around the screen and to resize particularly when you're applying indicators to the charts themselves. So thanks for watching and see you soon and bye for now.